If there was one location to be considered the promised land for Nintendo fans, the Nintendo World Store would be it. Jam-packed full of more Nintendo merchandise than you can wrap your head around, it's easily the most impressive video game store in the United States. There's so much more to this gaming haven than a place to blow your last three paychecks, though, let's face it, you're probably going to anyways. I'm Ruth with Super Coin Crew, and we've got 50 reasons to visit Nintendo New York. Let's get started. First, let's talk about history. Before the Nintendo World Store was known as such, it was the only U.S. Pokemon Center store, a shop brimming with all things Pokemon, including games, plushies, and apparel. Number two. In January of 2005, the Pokemon Center was closed for a facelift. When it emerged on May 14, 2005, it had evolved into the Nintendo World Store and through a grand opening celebration with games, giveaways, competitions, and even celebrity guests. Number 3. The Nintendo World Store opened the same year that Star Fox Assault, Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, Mario Party 7, and many other great Nintendo titles were released. Number 4. From January 19th to February 19th of 2016, the Nintendo World Store was closed once again for significant renovations and yet another rebranding, this time to Nintendo New York. Note, from this fact on, I'm going to refer to Nintendo World Store as Nintendo New York out of respect for the store's new identity. That's enough about history. Number five, Nintendo New York is a multi-story building located at 10 Rockefeller Center in New York City. With its expansive glass facade and bright lighting, it stands out from all the buildings around it. Number six, ever wonder where Nintendo officially launches all of its US home consoles? Though you may get your latest platform from the local game GameStop, Nintendo New York hosts massive events where fans line up around the block to get in on the launch party. Number 7. Nintendo New York never lost sight of its roots. Despite expanding to incorporate all things Nintendo, the store still has quite the selection of Poké Swag. Plus, the door poles are fashioned to look like Poké Balls. Number 8. Nintendo New York, alongside its obvious appeal of merchandise, will sometimes host exhibits showcasing Nintendo's history, like the Super Mario exhibit during the winter of 2015, which let fans see drawings from the development of the original Super Mario Brothers. Number 9. With Nintendo New York also comes the edition of a massive bronze coin featuring Mario and the tagline, where everyone comes to play, installed right into the floor of the store's entrance. Number 10. With the transformation from Nintendo World to Nintendo New York, the store has added a 15-foot gaming screen, which is something I've wanted in my living room since I was a child. Number 11. Nintendo New York is a Nintendo zone, meaning there's free wireless access for you to use with your Nintendo 3DS. Number 12. During Nintendo New York's celebration of Super Mario Bros. 25th anniversary, Shigeru Miyamoto was a surprise guest. Oh, how I wish I could have been there. You never know who's gonna pop in. Number 13. During the Dragon Quest IX launch event at Nintendo New York in 2010, the game's creator Yuji Horii gave signatures to only the first 30 in line. Nintendo New York had its very own Dragon Quest themed ice cream truck for fans. How sweet is that? See what I did there? Ice cream? Sweet. <clears throat> Moving on, number 14. Nintendo New York has a display with every single released and upcoming amiibo. I wonder how many amiibo fanatics plotted to run away with the whole fixture. Number 15. Like many retail stores, Nintendo New York's displays are always changing. It's just cooler than other stores because they put up exclusive artwork and signage to promote new releases. Seeing beloved characters all over the place is really just a fun experience for any fan. Number 16. Music from your favorite Nintendo games is played throughout the store, which really ties together the Nintendo Nintendo experience. Number 17. Having trouble finding an amiibo you haven't seen since the day it hit the stores? Check Nintendo New York. It gets restocks far more often than your local retailers. I guess the only issue is that New York has a crazy big population, so you might be fighting the crowd for that rare release. Number 18. The store is the only Manhattan location for the Pokemon Trading Card Game League. Games are hosted during special Pokemon Trainer Days and events. Number 19. The store has 12 Wii U and 11 Nintendo 3DS interactives with various games to play on each system, including eShop and virtual console games. Number 20. A Nintendo DSi made of 51,324 LEGO bricks was on display in the window to commemorate the launch of the system in 2009. Created by Sean Kenny, it took 200 hours of work 
weighed 250 pounds and was about seven feet wide. Number 21. Nintendo New York has hosted performances by the Legend of Zelda Symphony of the Goddesses Orchestra on multiple occasions. Number 22. During the Splatoon Splat Day event, kids and squids had their chance to try out a Splatoon-themed obstacle course right in the store, complete with a mini ball pit. There was also a rally and march from Times Square to the store carrying Splatoon-themed banners. Number 23. Into cosplay? Enjoy a little friendly competition? Nintendo New York sometimes hosts cosplay contests. Number 24. This almost goes without saying, but if you're headed to Nintendo New York, don't forget to take along your 3DS. Not only is it a great way to get some street passes, but they often have lots of multiplayer events and even giveaways of the in-game items. Number 25. If you're strolling around New York City, keep an eye out for Mario taking selfies. You can also follow his adventures on the official Nintendo New York Instagram. Number 26. Nintendo of America's Executive Vice President of Sales and Marketing, Scott Moffat, announced that the new Nintendo New York store is a must-see location for anyone who has a memory of Nintendo or who wants to see what Nintendo has in store for the future, and you best believe him. Number 27. Nintendo World has a resident DJ. His name is Joel. Number 28. Need a wearable reminder of your constant Animal Crossing debt? Check out this Nintendo New York exclusive shirt depicting Tom Nook that reads, Forever Alone. Number 29. Nintendo New York hosted the first Super Smash Bros. 3DS National Open Tournament in October of 2014. They streamed it live right from the store. Number 30. In 2014, Nintendo New York launched a line of t-shirts called Real NYC, featuring popular Nintendo characters in the real world. Look at Toon Link feeding the pigeons! How is that not the best shirt you've ever seen? Number 31. Before the Wii U launch at Nintendo New York, Nintendo of America's Reggie fils surprised over 50 fans who had been camping out in front of the store way before the launch. They were treated with casual conversation and photo ops with the beloved Nintendo boss. Number 32. Nintendo New York is one of a kind. There's no other Nintendo store like it in the entire world. Number 33. That being said, that makes Nintendo New York quite popular for fans of the company. On any given day, mostly during launch events, there can be upwards of 5,000 people waiting in line to get into the store. Number 34. On the second floor is a popular display featuring Nintendo's rich history from playing cards to handhelds. Number 35. Easily the coolest and most jaw-dropping item on display at Nintendo New York is a charred and melted Game Boy that was recovered after a bombing during Operation Desert Storm. The handheld survived and is even still operational. Number 36. For the release of new Super Mario Bros. for the Wii U, Nintendo New York was transformed into the Mushroom Kingdom. Number 37. At one point, the console kiosks had seats for players to sit in while they tried out Nintendo's latest games. These were removed during a remodel Model, but it was for the better. Standing is good for you, and the lack of comfy chairs also promotes quicker handoffs between players, which means shorter lines. Number 38. The store hosts Friday night gaming nights throughout the year. Fans can play games with the staff, street pass, and usually receive some type of exclusive giveaway. Number 39. For those who have always wanted to meet the man behind the Mario, legendary voice actor Charles Martinet made a special appearance at the reopening of Nintendo New York on February 19th, 2016. Here he is with Nikki and Cade. Number 40. Though the Pokemon Center was replaced with the newly renamed Nintendo New York, leaving the fans of the Pocket Monster series with no true Poke merch mecca, in 2014, US fans got what they wanted. PokemonCenter.com was launched, letting anyone order as many Pika plushes as their hearts desired. Number 41. With the launch of the highly anticipated Mario Kart 8, Nintendo New York had an exclusive bundle that included a blue shell statue along with the game, which were packaged with a box toting two words every collector goes crazy for. Limited edition. Number 42. If you're going to Nintendo New York for a limited release, keep an eye on their Twitter account. They tend to update when they've sold out of a product, such as certain amiibo during the height of their release. No need to wait in line for disappointment. Number 43. Ever wanted to talk to Mario or Luigi? Nintendo New York hosts live video chats with the characters during special events and during summer and the holidays. Number 44. During the Yoshi's New Island launch event, the store was decked out in all things Yoshi, with all sorts of games for fans to play. Beanbag toss, card matching, and a mysterious egg drop game let you test your skill, wit, and luck for prizes. Number 45. If you're a Pokemon fan in New York, keep an ear to the ground for any exclusive Pokemon distributions at Nintendo New York. In the past, they've given away Darkrai and even Manaphy. Number 46. While at Nintendo New York, make sure to check out any spot pass items you might get for being there. In Tomodachi Life, you can unlock fun outfits for your Miis. Number 47. Have a killer Nintendo-themed Halloween costume planned? Stop by Nintendo New York for some goodies in their costume contest. Number 
number 48. Sometimes you can get a sweet pin or two for just trying out a demo. In June of 2015, fans who went to Nintendo New York and tried out Star Fox Zero, Yoshi's Woolly World, Super Mario Maker, and Triforce Heroes got a Star Fox and Mario 30th anniversary pin. Number 49. For the 10th anniversary of the store, they had exclusive t-shirts that came with a limited one of 1,000 Nintendo World coins. Speaking of exclusive t-shirts, during the reopening on February 19th, 2016, there were limited edition Link and Mario shirts available for purchase. Number 50. Live forever away from New York but desperately want to see the inside of Nintendo New York? Check out Google Street View. It can take you right through the front doors of the store. So, have you planned your trip yet? Nintendo New York is truly a unique experience for gamers and fans of Nintendo. Have you been there? Did you get to experience one of their launch events? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to Super Coin Crew, where it's non-stop Nintendo, so you don't miss out on any other Nintendo videos.